sir, welcome to all TFI CAD tips. In this video, we have a quick tip covering two commands. Not one, but two. Happy Christmas. We're getting to Christmas. I thought it would be good, you guys. The two commands that we're looking at are patch and thicken and offset. Now, I found myself using these two commands quite a lot in the, the last few videos that I've done. So, a couple of the rendering videos, the Tekken 3D series, when I was modeling a few gadgets and devices, I found myself using this quite a lot. And I thought, eh, it's probably a good one to do a couple of tutorials on. So, what we're going to do is look at how they are used, what they do, and the benefits of these two commands and why they're useful. So, we're going to start with patch, which is also known as boundary patch. What boundary patch is, it allows you to click edges on a model and it will fill the hole, ladies, it'll fill the hole with a thin walled surface. So, for example, let's say we've got this hole here. So, this is like a metal part, like a bracket or a strut brace, and we've got this sort of hole going through the middle of it. And maybe you want to you put a cap like a plastic cap over this hole. Now, you'd find it really difficult to create this sketch for a cap on a hole that's not flat. So you can see there the edges, it's raised and it's curved, isn't it? So you couldn't sketch. You can't, you can't sketch on that face, it's not flat. So what I would do, my go-to command here to fill this hole and put a cap on it would be to patch this region and then thicken it into a solid. So we'd start by selecting patch. And what boundary patch expects of you is to click edges and create a closed loop profile. So you would say, I want to create a patch in between this edge and this edge. And then because it's detected a closed loop, it's going to fill that region with this green, well, it's just this is just a preview, it'll turn into an orange surface, but this green area is a preview of the surface it's going to create inside that, that edged profile. Now, you could just click OK if you want at this point, but it's not quite perfect. It's not quite perfect. You can see the surface is coming out of the edges kind of direct, so it's it's raised above the edge, so you're going to get this sort of ballooned, inflated surface above that profile. Now, you can change that easily, but you just need to know to do it. To fix this, you go into the edges, so this edge here is the edge here, that blue one that's highlighted there, and then this option here is the condition, and you would change that to a smooth condition, and that simply means that the surface is going to smoothly transition out of the edges rather than come out directly. So directly is almost like the, it's like as the crow flies, it's detected that it's going to create a region between this edge and this edge, so the surface is sort of like a direct it's it's difficult to explain, but you can kind of see it's directly blending the surface between the two edges, so it's not bothering to follow the the contour of the edge. So you would change that to a smooth condition, and then this one also to a smooth condition. The other options are tangent condition, but there's to the naked eye, there's absolutely minimal difference between tangent and smooth, but the G2 smooth condition is more aesthetically pleasing. It is more of a, a true blend, and it's better for product design if you do, when possible, go for a smooth condition. So you click OK, and then there you go. That orange region here is a surface that it's blended between those edges. So it's filled the gap with a surface. But that surface has no mass. It is simply a thin walled surface. It doesn't have any thickness at all. None whatsoever. So the next job is to thicken the surface that you've created. And thicken takes this thin walled surface, and it's almost, it isn't, but it's almost like an extrusion. It takes that surface, and it just, it sort of inflates it directly upward. Well, not directly upwards either. No, it's. I'll show you what it does. We'll select thicken, click the surface, and then if you look at the green preview, it'll it thickens the surface, it, almost perpendicular to where the surface is. So it doesn't just go straight up on the z-axis. No, it goes perpendicular to the surface that you're actually thickening. So thicken, pick your surface, then you've got a couple of options. Which direction do you want to thicken it? If you, if you want to fill the hole, ladies, then you can go downwards, or if you want to th create like a cap, like an extra body, you can change the direction and thicken it upwards. Now, if you're going to do this, I would highly recommend that you select new solid because it is going to be a cap, which in theory is a new part. It's a new body. So I would select a new solid and we'll end up with the the main body of the bracket is one solid and then well, this cap will be a second solid. Uh, so you can select that option there to create a new solid. The distance, well, that's the distance that it's going to thicken by. I have converted, this is one of the sample files which was originally in inches and I've converted it to millimeters so the units are all screwed up, but say 0 .0 0 0.5, so we've got like quite a thick, we've got quite a thick cap there, and you can see it's thickening it all the way around the edge, uh, true to the surface, so it's going to look something like that, and then we can click OK, there you go, 
there's your solid thickened from the surface once you've thickened it it does retain the surface so it's kept that underneath you can't see it but it well you can if you if you look on the other side but there's the surface there the boundary patch which you can just hide by doing that now the beauty of doing it this way as well is that it's all parametric this cap is parametrically linked to the hole so say for example if i shift and right click and select feature priority pick the hole so this hole, its edge was used to form the boundary patch, which was used to form the surface. So if I edit this feature and then say increase the diameter of the hole to, I don't know, 1.2, it'll increase the diameter of the hole, which in turn increases the boundary patch, which in turn increases the size of the thickness. So it's all parametrically linked. There's no dicking about doing two things if you make a change. So it's, it's all it's all happy. It's all good. So that's I would say that would be the correct way of doing it. Now, once you've got this created in your solid bodies folder over in your browser, you've got solid one, which is the main metal bracket. And then solid two here is your cap, which you can, if you want, rename. And then you can even hide everything else and just sort of gawp at the, the magical, magnificent thing you've just created. Mm, look at that. It is actually quite aesthetically pleasing. If you look at the curves on it, if you look at the body contours on it, you think, oh, it's actually, I would have found it really difficult to do this if I hadn't have done this this way. So it is quite good. And then you can change the color of it if you want to, because it's going to be a plastic cap. You can say, make it black. And then you can even sort of put fillets on it if you want to, fillet the edges. Uh, it's quite a uh, it's quite a small edge, so, you know, zero point, maybe 0 0.2. And then, okay. And then there you go. There's your black cap created. And then you can switch back on the other one. And then there it is. Looking absolutely delightful. And this can be applied to all different kinds of regions and places. Anywhere you've got like an opening and you've got an edge going around it, you can most of the time create a patch and then thicken a cap over it. So say, for example, this, this edge here, if we just shift and right click and change this back to faces and edges, we can patch this edge this edge then this then this then that and then probably that there there you go and then you've got a patch extending across that opening S still we've got this sort of direct condition coming out of the edges so the surface is slightly raised so uh, I don't think we can know we can't multi change these so we can just smooth all of these off and then okay on that and then there's your orange surface filling that gap Say exactly the same process, thicken that surface. It's maybe a bit too thick. Let's change that to 0 0.2. New solid, and then OK. And then there's your surface there, looking gorgeous and delightful. And then we can change that to be, I don't know, black. And then there you are. And then if you hide this one, and this one it looks even better than the other one, it's absolutely wonderful contour profile. So you're using boundary patch and using thickening, you can create all kinds of wonderful shapes and uh, body solids so so that's that that's it guys i think that's the tip uh, i could blabber on and do it in a whole load of other regions and areas and places but i think you kind of get the point so that's boundary patch requires a closed loop of edges and then thicken that resulting surface using thicken and then got your, your new solid which you can then do whatever you want with so hope you liked it if you did please press like subscribe comment and all that kind of jazz and toodles